Hey everyone, my name's Drew and we are here. This is going to be week number two of the ICBA and we're actually gonna be taking over a team for somebody else. And uh, it's a really interesting team. I'm not too, too sure what I'm doing. Um, and I just kind of got thrusted in with this team that I didn't draft, but it's going to be a really interesting match. We are playing up against Ultra Player, AKA Josh, and uh, he has a really strong team. I don't quite know how this is going to go i'm i'm in here i'm just gonna have some fun with it i built this team in about a couple hours maybe um i came in in the middle of the week this battle is already overdue so i wanted to get something together just so we can both battle but he has had his team ready for a while now and i'm just now building my team and trying to get everything ready to go but okay we will see the pyroar the nine tails the Slowbro, Heracross, Mega Heracross, um, Battle Bond Greninja. I have Protein, he has Battle Bond, and the Crocodile. So, really interesting. No Alolan Ninetales, which is, or sorry, no Alolan Sand Slash, which is really, really interesting. Um, this is a very interesting team. Um, no Kartana, which is huge, but I think he saw that I kind of had answers to it. Um, let me see here. Also, I'm going to screenshot his team so I don't forget that, but, but let's see, what else? No Slurpuff, no Tyrantrum, no Zatu. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, I kind of want to just lead off with my Golbat, maybe? I should probably lead off with Celebi. I'll lead off with Celebi. Yeah. I really don't see him leading off with the Alola Ninetales, which would be the biggest concern. But, I don't know. Like I said, I'm kind of doing the best that I can here. I feel really unprepared for this match. I did what I could with the team. Um, oh, okay, so another point. I will have plenty of team changes to try to make this team my own a little bit, but um, he had already built his team. He was on a time crunch to reprep, so I offered, hey, for this first week, I'll just battle with the team that's drafted, and then moving forward, and of course he leads off with a Pyroar, but moving forward, um, my team changes will be live. I made five transactions straight off the bat. We can get into that some other time, but for right now... This is not looking great. This is a max special defensive. This is a max physical defense Celebi. Uh, part of me just wants to go into my goal bat here. I think that should be the play. I mean, it's a goal bat, right? I can U-turn out on whatever this thing wants to go into. This thing could be specs, I guess. But regardless, I think I think that would put me in a decent spot. I do kind of want him to fear that I'm scarfed, possibly, but realistically. It goes for the taunt. That's super interesting. So just expecting a rock's lead, which is fair. Maybe it was Akaberry. I don't know. Uh, but let's see. I should be taking whatever hit this thing hits me with. I just want to... I honestly just want to U-turn out right now, which I'm going to try to do. Just goes for the flamethrower. I didn't want to switch in any hits, and um, actually, that does not seem like a very offensive. Yeah, it looks like flamethrower should have done a lot more. Oh, this—the th the default set is specs. Let's see. It's just leftovers, Pyroar. That's interesting. So it's not Pasha Bear or anything like that. Um. Is there any real drawback to just going for... Hmm, I could just U-turn here. I feel like the play would have to be to click U-turn. Let's for Protect. Just a Scout, I guess? Just so I become Bug-type? Um, I guess you wanted me to become water type? Uh, 
I don't know. So, I don't actually have Water Stab on my Greninja. But, well, quote unquote Water Stab because of Protein. I guess any move I go for would be Stab, but I guess he just wanted to get another round of Leftovers. I feel like I still have to U-turn out here. I feel like I have to U-turn out here. It does withdraw. Interesting. That's interesting. Goes into the slow, bro. He had to have expected me to go for a water move in that situation. But we do a decent amount. We are life orbed. What does that let me do? It lets me go into... It lets me go into Celebi and get up rocks. That's, that's the fastest I've ever clicked rocks, pretty much. But, um, yeah, it's going to be pretty important for the rest of the match. I don't think he has removal. Is that true? Does he not have removal? He doesn't have removal. But, yeah, that's, in general, just going to be huge for the, for the match in general. Uh, goes into this. Nine tails. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, he will be able to set up Aurora Veil for free, which is really unfortunate, but... My Celebi really doesn't do much for me in this match. I can deal with Crookedot, I guess. I do reveal leftovers. I don't want to give him the Aurora Veil for free, but at the same time, I really can't do anything against it. I can go for the Hidden Power Fire, but that's not going to really matter a whole lot here. I could also just go into Scizor or Aggressive. I could U-turn into Scizor. I'm just going to click U-turn. Goes for the Aurora Veil. Let's see. Nine tails. I don't think I can feasibly e expect my bullet points to do a whole heck of a lot under Veil. But I at least have to get a feel for what I'm doing here. Huh. So, hmm. Would it even be worth it to, like, click Swords Dance or something like that? I'm gonna give this thing Hidden Power Fire and see if I can take it. Oh, wait, no, it wouldn't matter because of the Aurora Veil. Uh... Yeah, might as well just get some damage off of Bullet Punch. Unless he U-turns out into... Maybe I should just click U-turn. Maybe it's better to just click U-turn. Pyro would be a pretty obvious switch. I'll click U-turn. Does withdraw. Okay, so again, literally my entire team is U-turn. So far revealed what? Four U-turns? Yeah. does go out into the Pyroar. And now, with all this damn no, but it's too behind Veil. That's respectable damage through Veil, though. Um, I, the best play would be to go into Electros and try to Drain Punch here. That's probably the best play overall. I really do have to stall out this Hail, or sorry, this uh, Aurora Veil. I'm gonna check on turns between turns. Um, but yeah, Drain Punch is actually pretty darn free here. And I can, even if the Slow Bar does come in, I can U-turn, yes, Drain Punch is really free. Um, Hail should have five more turns. But yeah, I just click Drain Punch every time. Goes for the Hyper Voice. We take that pretty darn well. 
Go for the drain punch. Yikes. Okay, that actually does absolutely nothing, but it puts us in, in an okay position. Especially with the hail. Yeah, wow, that actually does nothing. Against Pyroar. I guess it's a bulkier leftovers Pyroar. Is that the idea? Um, I guess I should give you Veil. Where's Aurora Veil? There it is. I feel like that did maybe max HP. Max HP. Yeah, that's about right for max HP Veil. Yeah, okay. I could see that. I could see that. Regardless, I think I click U-turn here. I don't think he wants to. Maybe I should. I, I regret that. I should click knockoff. What? That's a crit. Jesus. Jesus. Okay, I get a crit in return. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. I think that would let me freely go into... Infernape here. And click Vacuum Wave. Inferni, just in general, is probably the mod that I want to be in. Um, I very unfortunately did not end up packing the Grass Knot, but regardless, this is going to be more a game of... It's going to be much more a game of... Uh, outstalling Hail than... trying to sweep with this Infernape. We do get the first Mon down. Which is something. It's gonna be something. Um, I have to be super aware of that Battle Bond Greninja. It could... Battle Bond Greninja could... Uh, have Water Shuriken, and that would be bad if I give it the the transformation for free. Yeah, that would actually be really bad. Especially behind Veil. Especially behind Veil. I let him spread around too much damage. Yeah. Here it is. This could be where we just lose. This could be where we just lose. I think, I think my only play right now, I'm very nervous, but uh, I really don't want to get swept by this Greninja. Does go for the Surf. We take that decently well, but definitely 100% in range of a, of a Dark Pulse in return. He does theoretically have to I don't think I've switched up my moves, so I could theoretically be Scarfed. I'm gonna click Giga Train in case... In case I take a Dark Pulse, but uh, it doesn't seem too, too likely. Does withdraw. So at this point, I feel like I have to continue to completely bluff the Scarf. I can't click U-turn here. I have to bluff the scar. I could be giving him the freest of of um, sword stances right now. Uh, regardless, the play has to be to hard switch into Golbat. If he calls that and clicks Rock Blast, then I don't know what to say. He's got. Um, and I can't risk it. I feel like I have the Brave Bird. Does he click Sword Stance? Goes for the Rock Blast. Okay. It does not look like we're going to be able to take that. 
Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. The Aurora Veil does wear off. This could be my moment to go into Infernape. This could be my moment to go into Infernape and just like Fire Blast. If he goes into the Greninja, then Greninja, th then uh, Fire Blast plus Vacuum Wave. No, not even. That's not even close. If he goes into the Greninja, then that would be not ideal, I guess. If he goes into Greninja, then the play would have to be to... I don't remember what this is. Slow bro, fair enough. I feel like there's no other play but to click U-turn. I would go into, yeah, Electros. I'm not gonna overthink this too, too much. My team is getting worn down quite a bit, but... I'm not too, too upset about it so far. Let's see what happens if I click U-turn here. I know, what a surprise, right? Um... But what do you want to go into? You could just expect me to knock off? Maybe knock off would have been, should have been my play. It covers whatever switches in. Well, no, if it's nine tails, then yeah, this is absolutely the play. It does withdraw. I don't remember what this is at all, okay. Ugh. That's an interesting amount of damage. Is that a crit? It was not a crit. That looks like no defensive investment. Hmm. It could be scarfed. It could be scarfed. It makes me really want to go into my... Actually, maybe I go into... Maybe I go into Scizor. What do you say? Maybe I go into Scizor. Bullet Punch does next to nothing. I don't want Scizor to get too hurt at this point, but... U-turn hurts. I need most of his team to be in range of Vacuum Wave, in all honesty. And I'm not too, too far off from that, I guess. This game is already stressing me out, man. I guess I should be really concerned about that. I mean, I really should be concerned about that Greninja more. Although, it doesn't look like the Greninja has Water Shuriken, which is nuts to me. Well, to be fair, I dropped Water Shuriken on my own Greninja at the last second. So, if I'm ever in that position, then hopefully I can do something.
Um, yeah, I still need this Greninja to be a lot less healthy in order to, for me to take advantage. It goes for the rocks. And uh, my removal is gone with Golbat. Oh, that's just an Oko. That's interesting. Did not expect that. Uh, so now that that's gone, what does that mean? I feel like that opens a door. That opens a door for Greninja. I still need the Infernape for the Heracross. But Greninja kind of wins here. Inferno Greninja together win. I can fees I can just give up Electros to Rocks just to scout out whatever he's gonna do. Yeah. Greninja and Inferno definitely win. They definitely, definitely win. Oh, I thought I took that, but okay, fair enough. Maybe I can go back into Scizor? Yeah, I go back into Scizor. Definitely, definitely. Um, if I had to guess... Yeah, okay, so Scizor had to be the play because I cannot let him go into Ninetales. It kind of lets me do damage against the Greninja, at least a little bit. Heracross would suck. And um, Slowbro I can deal with. So Heracross should be his play. But if I go into Infernape, then it would be unfortunate for him. Yeah, this is a really interesting play for him. I already, I already went into Scizor. I feel like he would be super tempted to go into Ninetales right now. Goes into the Greninja. That's very interesting. This is a matchup that I have to see. Because Kenny Okomi. Okay, so fun fact, I came very close to bringing an Assault Vested um, Scizor. Greninja. I don't know what type of Greninja this is. I, I put Scarf in there just to put Scarf in there, but I have no idea what type of Greninja this could be. Um, this thing could have Hidden Power Fire. Would I take one? I would not take one. <laughs> not at all. But I should be able to take most hits that this thing would go for. I feel like I just click U-turn. It, it clicks U-turn itself. That is super interesting. So I do miss out on some free Bullet Punch damage. It would have been basically another round of a free round of stealth rocks on top of the next round that it's gonna take, but it is what it is. I think that's worth giving up in favor of a little bit of momentum right now. However, if he goes into he could go into the hair cross. Hair cross would be a decent switch in for him. But he has to know that I just went for U-turn, unless he thinks that I went for knockoff, I guess. Um, yeah, this is what I expected to see. Because he has to know that I just went for U-turn, so... But... That's interesting. Uh, Greninja...
Actually, would this be in range? I was not paying attention to that damage, but that would, but that is a very healthy amount of damage. Would this be in range of vacuum weave? No, nowhere near in range of vacuum weave. Why is vacuum weave doing so little? I really need a vacuum wave to do more damage. Um, I feel like I have no other play but to go into this dang Greninja here. And I have no other play. I have to click Ugshot here. I have to click Ugshot. I'm not too, too sure what I do if the Heracross comes in. Heracross. Do we hit? We do hit, okay. This should be gone, no type of berries or anything like that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 okay. That is huge for the later game. Uh, so let's see, hair cross. Hair cross destroys Greninja with anything. And I really should save it for the slow bro, to grass not on the slow bro. I do have Celebi, I do have Celebi. Um, what I just ice beam for damage? Gunkshot does just as much damage and would allow me to... Goes into his own Greninja. That's interesting. Um... So I would really like to have this Greninja to Grass Knot this Slowbro. Um... My full set on Greninja, and and I'll try to remember to have it um, down in the description as well, but Ice Beam, Grass Knot, Gunk Shot, and U-Turn. Um, let's see. Oh, I know what I can do. Okay, I think I know what I can do. I just click U-turn. I just click U-turn. Goes for the Dark Pulse. Do we take it? No, we don't take it. That's fine. We will give it the Battle Bond. What type was it? I was Poison type. Okay. So now, he's gonna take a round of hail. I can get a little bit of chip damage off with Scizor, and another round of hail damage, and then that would let me go into Infernape. And Infernape should be able to... Vacuum Wave it. And Infernape kind of wins. I do have to play around the slow row a little bit, but regardless, Infernape kind of wins. Um, let me think... Uh, Greninja... Yeah, I need a little bit of chip damage, so I have to have to go into uh, this scissor right here. I need the slightest bit of chip damage. Wait, if this thing is, um, oh man, if this thing is like Specs or Scarf, he could be, he could switch out. He could switch out. He could switch out here. It, say if he's Scarfed, then if he's Scarfed, does let me get the Bullet Punch off. Oh, that's a very decent amount of damage. Goes for the Dark Pulse again. If we take this... Okay, it's fine. I think we're fine. Because it looks like...
it looks like we could be in a position to win this still. We have no other play but to Vacuum Wave. Clearly doesn't have a Water Shuriken, otherwise he would have gone for it by now, I think. If he has Water Shuriken, he wins. Does withdraw, that's very interesting. Goes into the slow, bro. Did force me to reveal the Vacuum Wave, but I feel like I have to... I feel like I have to click U-Turn. He could beat me in this endgame, 100%. I have to click U-Turn. He has to go out into Heracross. Heracross is his only play. I should have... Maybe I should click Fire Blast. <sighs> this is bad. This is bad. I don't think I can break Heracross. Well, my Celebi can't break Heracross. I don't have Psychic Stab on my hair on my Celebi. I have Hidden Power Fire, which is the best that I can hit it with. And I don't know, maybe that's enough to put it to somehow make this endgame work. But it's going to be a bit of a stretch. It's going to be a bit of a stretch. Uh, what mod am I looking for here? Celebi. And Power Fire does almost no damage to a Heracross. He's deciding whether or not to go into the Heracross now. He's deciding whether or not to... Well, no. He really can't switch into... He can't switch into the Greninja because of my... Because of my U-turn uh, pressure. But the fact is, the Hidden Power Fire is doing nothing. However, what if my Celebi scares this thing out? Would it be... What if my Celebi scares this thing out? Maybe I should click U-turn. Maybe the play is to click U-turn. If I had Psychic, I'd be so good right now. Actually, switching into the slow bro is a pretty no-drawback play. Well, no. The drawback is that I can Giga Drain next turn. Switching into Greninja would be somewhat of a no-drawback play. Yeah, Greninja would be his play. I feel like I click U-Turn again, maybe? I'm gonna click U-Turn. That's gonna be the game. That's gonna be the game. Whatever movie goes for is going to... Destroy my my Infernape, and that's my win condition. I didn't have Psychic. Pin Missile. Uh, if I did have Psychic... If I did have Psychic... Even Psychic wouldn't have done enough. But Psychic would have put me in a position where... No, Psychic would have put, it, put me in a position where he goes for Pin Missile, takes me out, I go into Infernape, and get walled by the Slowbro. All because of that very last second decision to not have Grass Knot on my Infernape. I put, uh, I put Gunk Shot on it at the very last second. And that's it. I was scared of the Slurpuff, and I was thinking it could also hit the Ninetales, but I would never hit the Ninetales because I get outsped by it every time. Yeah. Pin Missile takes me out. If I had... If I'd kept the Grass Knot... If I'd kept the Grass Knot on my Infernape instead of the of the Gunk Shot, I think I have a chance of winning that match. Greninja genuinely just wins the match from there. 
but oh, that was a good game. That was a good game. With that, <laughs> I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I really did try. I built this team in like half an hour or so. Um, with that, that's going to be our first match for the ICVA. Our team's going to be very, very different. Um, and hopefully we can try to salvage out a really, really fun team here. I think we have a chance to do something. I don't know. The, the team was a very awkward team. I did my best with it, but we're going to see whatever we can do. That, but like I said, that's going to be it for me. Um, we have matches of MPL and UBL this weekend, as well as next week and more weeks of the IZBA next week. But, but once again, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And once again, out.